Let's make some butter pecan bourbon ice cream. Now, if you grew up around your grandmother or grandparents like me, then you know butter pecan is like one of the favorite ice cream for sure. Like my grandmother would eat this ice cream all day, every day. I don't even think she ever ran out, y'all. But make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now, this recipe is very easy. As you can see, the ingredients we have on the screen is just some heavy whipping cream, uh, some sweet condensed milk, some vanilla, and some bourbon. Like, that's all you need for this recipe. Now, I don't know why this thing was hard to open, but it was hard to open. So, we're going to use two cups of heavy cream, y'all. Only two cups. We're going to just pour those two cups in there. And But, like, as I was saying... My grandmother loved her some butter pecan ice cream. And I remember growing up, I seen there was like a pecan perline. So I was like, why not do it that way? Now, don't judge me on this blender. We get our kitchen remodeled. And for some reason, I keep losing pieces to everything that I have in the kitchen. So this is all I have for the blender. I don't even know what you use these pieces for. I think you use it for cookie dough. You know, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't even know. But this is what we're going to use today. So it's going to be a little hard mixing it. I recommend the bigger mixing piece that you see on like the kitchen made blenders. Like I had one similar for this one, but I don't know where it's at. So you don't get that heavy cream going because you want it to get thick. You don't want it watery. So I'm going to have it blending the best I can y'all while I open up this sweet condensed milk. All right. So in a separate bowl, we're going to get this thick stuff. Look how thick it is. Like it really take <laughs> like everything to get this out like i don't know why it's so thick but i had to end up using a spoon to get everything out but once you get the sweet condensed milk out then we're gonna mix it with the bourbon y'all in the vanilla flavor so let me just try to get this out but if you haven't already please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to this channel I'm try to post a long form video every week as well as the shorts as you can see the shorts that i've already posted as well but this is me mixing everything up and then putting a shot of bourbon now i use this uh one fourth cup but hey just understand just put the amount that you can handle this is for adults 21 and up um this recipe is not for minors okay so you want to go ahead and get that bourbon in there and once you get the bourbon in, you're going to mix it up. Again, this is not for children. This is for adults 21 and older. Or whatever the legal amount or legal age is in your country. Um, so then we're going to mix everything up with the heavy cream. Now, because it's bourbon in this, it is going to be a little more liquefied. It's going to be harder to get that thickness that you would get with a regular ice cream mix. But if I did have the proper blending tool, it would have been a lot more thicker you know but it's not at this point so what i'm doing is adding the crumbles of the uh, pecan perline the candy pecans that we had made earlier so i'm just adding those crumbles in the mix while the blender mix up so we can get that crunch started to go ahead and add it in there get the pecans all mixed getting that flavor in there okay so now i'm just trying to get everything close making sure it's getting thick like i'm trying my hardest y'all i really am okay so this i think i could get it don't judge me but i'm telling you it's not going to affect the ending results it just was it would have made it a lot easier to, for it to freeze pretty much okay so once we got that all mixed up now it's time to add the toppings Zay came over to see what I was doing you know so what we're going to do is put some pecans the candy pecans in the bag and we're going to crunch them up because we want some crumbled pieces in the mix and we want some thick pieces as well okay now everybody want a whole thing of thick I know the uh, pecan ice cream my grandmother used to purchase it was like the full thing with big um, like chunks in there you know and I used to spit the chunks out and put it aside because I was young I didn't want that in my ice cream but I love the flavor of the ice cream like, I want the ice cream without the pecans. But now I'm older, and I understand how delicious it is. And I was like, you know what? It's time to chow down on this. So what I'm doing is mixing up the crumbled pieces. Like, comment down below if your grandparents used to eat butter pecan ice cream. And if not, tell me what kind of ice cream they used to eat. Okay? So not only is it was this, it was like some caramel crunch things they used to eat as well. Um, it was like, it was hard and it had the pecans or peanuts in it. That's another thing my grandma and granddaddy used to eat a lot. Or my great grandparents, but my grandmother as well. But this right here, I tried, okay y'all, a little story time, all right? So this works perfect for like popsicles, like fruit popsicles and stuff because they get harder fast. But me, 
you know, I was like, okay, let me try to be a little fancy, you know, so when this come out, I can show y'all the ice cream in the bowl and the ice cream in this. So let me tell y'all right now, it did not work out right, but I want to show y'all what I had in mind. I wanted to put the caramel at the bottom, right? So after I put the caramel or caramel at the bottom, I want to put the ice cream on top of that, right? So what I'm doing now is adding some ice cream because I wanted the pecan ice cream to become in popsicle form as well. So I'm adding that on there also. Now I am looking for the proper um, popsicle thing that will work for what I'm trying to do so I can redo this, but I don't want to just show y'all my success. I want to show y'all my flaws. That's why I still posted this video even though I had the wrong blender piece and even though this did not come out right because it's all about growth okay i am not no professional chef but i sure enough know how to cook and make everything taste right so this is how it's supposed to look and as you can see this is me mixing the caramel and adding some more pecans on the top of that as well so we can get this in the uh the freezer so it can get started freeze you know so I'm just adding a little fancy little drizzle, razzle drizzle on top. And then I start to put the top on that, you know, put a little caramel on there first because, you know, when you take out the popsicle, you want the caramel at the top, some ice cream and some caramel at the bottom. That I was like, oh, this is going to look so beautiful. I just know this is going to look right, you know. So I started putting the popsicle sticks in there. And I was like, you go, girl. You got this stuff going. Like, go ahead. Put the popsicle stick in there, you know. So that's what I started doing. And let me tell y'all, I put both of them, I put this one in the freezer, and I put the other one in the freezer as well. And I did freeze it for overnight because it does take 24 hours because this was a little more liquefied. But look at the ice cream. It came out perfect. Like, I'm telling you, this butter pecan bourbon, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Like, you can taste it on every bite, y'all. And don't overdo it. You don't need more alcohol than what you saw me put in there. And if you want to make it without the bourbon, I'm telling you, it's still going to be super delicious. My popsicles didn't come out right. I ain't even show y'all that. I had a struggle. I thought I was going to break the thing, take the popsicles out. But this right here, this came out perfect. This butter pecan bourbon came out perfect, y'all. Look, oh my God, so soft. I'm telling you. If you want more delicious videos and recipes like this, y'all just let me know in the comments. I'm going to try to pick the perfect day. Or y'all let me know when y'all want to watch my videos. Is it on Fridays and Saturdays or Sundays? Just let me know so I can have these videos ready for y'all. I'm thinking about doing an ice cream series because I really enjoyed making this ice cream. And you know, I just want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Continue to show you girl love. I love y'all and I am out.